Hello all girls and boys for today's Kids Zone and all the parents and grandparents and families and everybody. Today we will learn about the story from Old Testament that could have a little title of I spy with my little eye. So keep that in mind, we will learn that later on. But first, let's remember one year ago we were having our children's service and we were doing a song. We all practiced very hard and we are going to do the actions now and I want all girls and boys to get up and do the actions with us. Okay, see you soon. about the Bible, an incredible book with a lot of stories in it. Just really gets me excited because I love talking about the Bible. Anyways, so I spy with My Little Lie, a story that comes from Numbers chapter 13. Now, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, that's cool. Just ignore it. But if you do, that's cool as well. So, it's an epic story talking about 12 spies who are sent into the so-called promised land. You may have heard of that, you may not have heard of that. But this is a land that has been, well, promised by God to Moses and his people. Well, God's people. 
who are called the Israelites. Now, if you remember, Moses is this incredible man who has saved God's people, the Israelites, from Egypt. And he's the guy who split the sea for dry land in the middle, so then they could all walk through and they could all be saved. If you remember that story, then great. So, this man Moses now has sent 12 spies into the promised land so they can see what's it, what it's all about and see how they're gonna get in and how, how they can do it. Now, the 12 spies that has been chosen are the, the strongest, the bravest, and the most fit for this job. They're, they're really the best of each tribe because there's 12 tribes, so there's 12 spies. So, you know, I, I, I would have been chosen, but let's not talk about that. But when they came back with the reports, 10 spies were very afraid and they had no hope of getting in. But then the other two spies, they trusted in God and they knew that they could get in with God. So, let's take a look and see what they all said. I'm sorry, but there's no way I'm going back there. I'm way too afraid. When we got there, the towns were so secure and guarded, we couldn't even get in. I'm sorry, I'm not going back. I'm too afraid. I am never going back there again. It was terrifying. The people there, they're giant. I'm so scared. Can't do it. Too big. And those walls. I'd rather go back to Egypt than try get through one of them. I mean, even I couldn't handle one of them one on one. And I'm larger than most of you. There is no way we are going over there. You should see the size of them. They're giants. No, sorry. We should certainly go up and take that land. God is with us. We can take it. God has led us to a good land. The farms are thriving and it will be a good place for our flocks. It will be hard to take the land. The cities are well protected and many of the men that we saw were very tall and strong. But we've God on our side. And with him, there's no way we can fail. We don't want to go back there. There are really scary people there. Yeah, and they're all way bigger and they look way stronger than us. No. I'm so scared. I'm not going there. They're like taller than me. No way. I'm not there. No. And we are ringing in with our report for what we've seen today. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? It's very scary. There are giants, big walls, it's loud, and I think they're following us. <gasps> We really need to get back as soon as possible. This is not where we need to be. No, 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 no definitely not. Bye. Let's go. So now that you've seen the reports of the 12 spies, you know that 10 of them were afraid, but two of them trusted in God, no matter what. They knew they could get in with God's help. Do you get scared? I get scared all the time. Us as humans, we always get scared. So we're often like the 10 spies who were afraid of getting in. They were afraid because the walls were too high or the, the people were too big. They were afraid that they, they would fail. And we're always, or we're often like the 10 spies who were afraid. But we should try and be like the two spies who trusted in God. And that's what we want to take from this story, trusting in God. We know we can do anything through God if we trust in Him and trust that we can do anything with God's help. But we need to get past our fears. We need to put them aside. And we need to trust in God because He's the Almighty God. I mean, He can help us through every situation because God is super epic. And if we trust in God, we can get into that city. We can, we can defeat the tall people, the strong people, because we are strong with God. And we can do everything through God. And I know maybe the situation's a bit different. We, we're not trying to take over a city. We're not trying to get into the new promised land. But I'm sure you have fears. I'm sure you have struggles as well. But, I mean, I don't know what they are. Homework, maybe there's a scary, scary person. But 
if you trust in God and if you talk to God, he can help you through every situation, just like he helped the Israelites, the God's people, Moses, through every situation they had. So we need to trust in God that he will get us through these scary times. Now over to Lily and a craft. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today we're going to be making binoculars and we're going to be spiced today, so we need binoculars. Um, so you'll need some toilet roll, pens, glue if your stickers aren't very good and might not, and some paint if you want. So, um, my dad's going to help me um, stick these together with the tape because I'm not good. Yeah, can I hold it and you take this? Dad nudge, okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to do swirls. You can do any design you want because there's freedom with this. Great, Lily. Perfect. Now you're gonna need some stickers. This sticker's actually good sticker. Yeah, it's good sticker. The rest aren't. Oh, Beautiful. I just want to stick one more sticker because this is the one I've been dying to stick on. Because... Let's have a look at it. Which one is your favorite? I'm going to put it in the middle. No. Oh, look. A teddy. It's a cat. Oh, no, it's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> a teddy. It's a um, cat. If there was a dog, the dogs would be my favorite because I love dogs. Oh, what do you do to the other end? Where the... Uh, you'll see. You'll see. You have to wait. And that was a good idea to put the lid back on your glue. Very yeah, good, Lily. It dries out, doesn't mm -hmm. it? So we're going to get my paint. My paint mm -hmm. is this beautiful color that, I, that yeah. I love. So let's just paint that on. Beautiful. And you can keep going on like that. And let's see the one that you made earlier. Before, I made, just as a practice, mm -hmm. I made cat sails. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, very nice with all of the stickers. You want to turn it the other way around? That's it. Lovely. Very nice. So, so what do you think, Lily? What do you think about your binoculars? I think they are really pretty and I'm definitely going to make them for my friends a little after the, you know. Bye!